Today marks the 51st anniversary of Roe versus Wade, the landmark U.S. Supreme Court decision that established a constitutional right to abortion. A year and a half ago, it was overturned. Now there is an effort underway in our state to ensure that it couldn't happen in Maine. News in Maine's Chloe Tebow joining us live from inside the State House in Augusta with more. Hi, Chloe. Hey, Brian, yeah, dozens of Mainers have been in and out of the room behind me all morning, testifying both for and against LD 780. This bill brings forward an important, pressing and divisive conversation regarding the protection of reproductive rights here in Maine. Now, Senator Eloise Vitelli is the lead sponsor of LD 780. If passed with a two thirds majority in the legislature, it would go to voters in November. They would ultimately decide whether there should be an amendment to Maine's constitution, making it more clear that Mainers have the right to abortion care. Those in favor of this say elected officials shouldn't have a say in reproductive choices. They say although there already are some protections in our state's constitution, those have not been tested since Roe was overturned, and advocates want to make sure they won't be misinterpreted. Those opposed say they don't want to see this bill pass because they don't want the risk of Maine voters approving it. They say they don't believe in the right to abortion. I have a godson who was born four years ago and his mother was hours away from choosing to abort him and I know that there would be so many lives changed if we didn't have that little boy in our lives. I'm one of the people who remember the years before Roe. I had friends who had abortions and were very endangered by those abortions. I remember um, marching before Roe, before Roe. <laughs> Now again, the public hearing for this bill is still underway. We'll have more coverage later today on News Center Maine. Live in Augusta, Chloe Tebow, News Center Maine. Chloe, thank you.